Hello, it is World Wide Web Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Steve Cypress here, and you may have seen the news today that the company Inflection AI, uh, formed by the uh, co-founders, uh, the founders, uh, the co-founders of the company are the founder of LinkedIn and the founder of Google DeepMind. They teamed up, formed this company, Inflection AI, and they came out today with their brand new chatbot called Pi, P-I as in the mathematical 3.14 and all that kind of stuff, uh, which tells me perhaps uh, it's a couple of months past its target date because they may have wanted to release it on Pi Day, March 14th. But I digress. Uh, this chatbot, uh, unlike uh, Google Bard and ChatGPT, which were all serious and you know into doing coding and, and uh, all kinds of research and whatever, this one is, they're calling it a conversational chatbot, conversational AI. Hey, it's just to hang out and have a, com a digital companion to pass some time and talk to. And I haven't checked it out yet, but supposedly from what I read, it's available and you can use it for free on like uh, Facebook and Instagram and, and whatever, which it, I got to, what is going on? I mean, supposedly that's social media meant for humans to be social and talk to each other. And now social media with this, this new Pi chatbot uh, is now becoming a place where, hey, let me go on to Facebook and I don't want to talk to my friends or anyone that's following me or anything. I want to talk to a machine and have a conversation with, I mean, the whole just sounds crazy to me, but bottom line is if you think that AI is some kind of a, uh, trend or it's going away or uh, it's a fad or you should ignore it. I see all that kind of stuff from people or it's too new yet. Uh, don't pay attention. Like you're out of your mind. Like you need and it's going to be constantly changing like anything on the internet, but AI constantly changing, growing, evolving, changing. There's already been chat GPT-3, 3.5, 4. It's going to be more and more and more, but you really ought to get into it. Check it out. If you want some connections, I have one client and several other people I know that have put together programs for business owners on how to use AI, chat GPT and such to uh, save a lot of time in your business. You know, on a related note, uh, have the, uh, the, I don't know, Hollywood Writers Guild or whatever it's called going on strike in the last day or two. And uh, one of the issues there is about them pushing back on uh, uh, the, the, uh, you know, the producers, uh, the shows and the movies and whatever, wanting to use AI to write some scripts and then have the writers simply do editing and the writers are saying, hey, AI can't write like a human and blah, blah, blah. And like, you know, watch out, this stuff is happening. And more importantly, as a business owner, uh, the way I look at AI is like an employee, like an assistant. I mean, you've got to give it what's called prompts which are directions like you have to give any employee. The output from your employee is pretty much based on how good your input is to them, how your direction, your overseeing, your, uh, you're looking over their work when it's done, you're projecting your vision before it's done, and then you look it over and then you look, they bring it back, you look it over again, you, you kind of suggest your vision of what you want them to do. That's what prompts are with AI. So that's how I look at it, uh, AI, uh, uh, oh, gee, it can't do this. And that. Well, it can if you prompt it correctly, if you train it properly, if you uh, know how to have a conversation and know how to set things up. And so go to helpfromsteve.com and I'll get on the phone with you and help you out. At the very least, I'll point you in the right direction of someone who has a, uh, a low cost or a free or a, certainly a, uh, a worthwhile course. Uh, that you can go through or some free training, uh, but you really ought to get on the ball here with AI because uh, this newest one just shows that, you know, they're already starting to think of how can I make an AI, a chatbot that's different than the others. And so we're already way past, even though it was only November when ChatGPT came out, we're way past, hey, I got a chatbot, boom. Now it's like, oh, how can I make one that does something a little different? And then there'll be another one, does another thing a little different. Then there's gonna be specialty chatbots that'll specialize in certain industries or certain tasks, uh, but it's not going away and it's only going to increase as a business owner. You 
really ought to get on the bandwagon and start figuring out how you can use AI in your business. That'll do it for World Wide Web Wednesday, May 3rd, 2023. Thanks for being here with me today, and I will catch you tomorrow on Throwback Thursday. Until then, over and out.